It is a beautiful day out here today, guys. Unfortunately, I can't say the same about the crypto market. This weekend, Bitcoin continued to inch its way lower. And today has been no different as we've continued to see the lows get swept. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Although we're currently sitting at this 38K support, price action seems like it wants to continue sweeping the lows and retest this Fibonacci level back here. The issue with the retest of that Fibonacci level is that then we are threatening to drop way back down here which is the lows of back in may to july today i'm going to show you guys how bitcoin is threatening to go even lower this week than it did last week and where we could expect to see some buyers come back into the market and hold the prices up we're going to be looking at its current price action the next support levels. And we of course are going to look at the order books. Then I'm going to put my theories to work and show you guys the exact trade setups that I will be using throughout this week to try to profit from these moves. So let's go ahead and dive into today's video. All right, guys, so a quick recap from Friday's video. I gave you guys two different trades that we were watching. The first one was a short below $40,000. If you guys were able to catch that, that was a move of around 6% using 10X leverage like we usually recommend. That would have been around a 60% profit on that trade. So the second trade setup that we gave you guys is actually in the process right now. So we'll talk a little bit more about that one when we get back to the trade setups that we will be watching today. All right, guys, so not too much has changed from Friday, right? On Saturday, we saw a little relief green candle there. And then yesterday, once the futures market opened back up, we had another two and a half move down. And then today, so far, we're pretty much down about 1%. So if we zoom out to the weekly chart here, you can see that we closed in the green in what's called an inverted hammer. So if you look the week before that, we closed in a regular hammer, and then last week we closed in the inverted hammer. So what exactly do these mean? So if we pull up the definition here, you can see that the hammer is a bullish reversal pattern, which signals that a stock is nearing a bottom in a downtrend. And if we pull up the definition of an inverted hammer, you see that an inverted hammer also forms in a downtrend and represents a likely trend reversal or support. So both of those are potential reversal patterns to the upside. And we've had them two weeks in a row back to back right now. However, I have to remind you guys, although this is good news, a lot of this price action is still being driven by events and by the news going on out in the war. So you gotta kinda take all of this with a grain of salt currently. If we zoom out, you guys can see that the bullish structure is still currently set up and it's still in play. As long as right here, we hold up a higher low than this right here, then we're still technically any bullish structure. One thing that we are keeping a close eye on is this potential head and shoulders play, which could lead to a drop maybe down to this level right here. That support level there is basically a support that goes back many, many years. The only time we really falling below it, you can see it was during the 2020 pandemic and we popped right back above it. So if we are seeing and if we do see some sort of head and shoulders pattern play out here with everything going on in the war, this would mean that the war has escalated even more which would then speed up this drop here and make this head and shoulders pattern probably play out. I would be guessing that at that point, the bottom would be somewhere around this range. And that range is ba basically between 22 to $25,000. Now zooming back into the daily time frame, you can see the exact range that we're currently trading in. We've been basically just getting rejected over and over at these areas and then bouncing from these areas here. And it looks like we're going to be retesting that for a possible third time. So that does give us a possible opportunity to look for a long position if we see that price bounces at this support 
and starts heading back up. We'll touch more on that in a few when we speak about the trade setups for this week. Now, if we come over to the order books and try to see where the buyers are, you can see there's really nothing until around 37,000. And those are small buy walls there. If we continue down, there's some more buyers at 36,000. If we continue lower, where the biggest buy walls currently are sitting is at 35,000. You can see it's bright and yellow. That means that there's a lot of buyers currently sitting there. Beyond that, the next important level where there's the majority of buyers is at $32,000. And then the biggest buy wall of all is currently sitting at $30,000. So this is why I don't like the idea of retesting this support here and falling lower because there's no real big support areas. There's no real areas with a lot of buyers waiting until 35,000, 32,000 and $30,000. And even though we can see those current buy orders right now, it doesn't mean that they will stay there. Sometimes the, those buy orders will be canceled. They will be moved. It depends on the price action, what happens to those buy orders. Sometimes more can come in, but if the sell pressure is too strong, Wrong. the sell pressure either way is going to eat those up and is going to continue pushing prices down so when we get down to those levels we need to reevaluate what is going on and then make a new decision based on that now, before I show you guys my exact trade setups that I will be watching this week to make some money on the possible moves that we will be seeing, all I ask in return is that you guys smash that subscribe button. If you guys are looking to make money through trading, through crypto passive incomes, or maybe you just want to stay up to date with the latest money making trends in crypto, I upload a video almost every single day about these topics. So please smash that subscribe button so that you never miss another opportunity to make money in crypto. In addition to that, I answer every single question that I get in my DMs on Instagram, and I also answer every single comment that I get on my YouTube channel. So please, if you guys have any questions at all about the video, drop it below. All right, guys, so let's dive into the trade setups that I will be watching this week. So the first level that I'm watching right now is at $38,000 level. Remember, I gave you guys that level on Friday's video. I told you guys that below 38,000, I like that as a short trade entry. I have everyone in my group right now taking this exact trade and guess what they're already over $500 in profit on the trade I'm going to continue using that level this week to look for short entries now if I see any type of reversal where the market might be going back up because of some event driven news then I might be using that level to take a long entry to the upside to try to ride that price action up it just, again, it depends on what happens, depends on the situation, depends on the context, right? The next level that I will be looking at this week, if we continue lower, is if we get below this Fibonacci level. If I notice that we're starting to drop below it and we're not going back up, I will use these levels to take a short entry below it. So that level is probably going to be around 36,800 or so. So if you want, you can even use 37,000 because if we fall below 37,000, we're probably going to continue below 36,800. So I like to keep it simple and use the whole numbers that are nearby. And I don't want to use 36,000 as a short entry because remember, there's a lot of buy orders sitting at 35,000. So I'm not going to be using 36,000 as a level to play for long or short entries there. You can currently see the market sweeping the lows like we spoke about in the beginning of the video. It's very likely we're going to be testing these lows down here. Now, if we do see any bounces back to the upside, the level that we are watching is first, again, 38,000 is going to be a key level. And then the next level above that will probably be $40,000. I really don't want to play anything between those two. Now, with all that being said, if you guys want to know exactly what trades I am taking every single day in real time, you must join my mentorship trading group. In this group, I share every single trade that I take with my complete trading plan, entry, stop loss, take profit, all of it. I teach you guys how to trade using leverage to maximize the capital that you have and how to use the right position size and risk so you never have to worry about blowing up your trading account again. In addition to that, I also post crypto passive income opportunities 
NFT projects, play to earn projects, and much, much more. Now there is limited availability for this because there's so many people that want to get in, but I can only work with so many at once. So if you guys are interested, make sure to click the link in the description below. I'm telling you guys, crypto is a once in a generation opportunity and the way that it's set up right now to make the easy money, the easy profits, this will not last forever. So please, if you guys are interested, make sure to sign up in the description below. If not, then I strongly suggest that you watch the next two videos that I put up on the screen because those are the videos that YouTube thinks that you should watch next. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great week. As always, peace and love.